Hello guys, let's today talk about mealybug, how to identify them and how to control them naturally without harming your plants and as well. And at the end of the video, I will show you the preparation of insecticidal soap spray. So what the heck mealybugs are? Mealybugs are most common pest. They are plant sucking pest and a major outdoor garden pest that often cause significant trouble for household plant too. Millibugs are found in warmer growing climates. They are of soft body scale covered with a woolly waxy segregation that provide protection and decrease the effectiveness of contact insecticides. Like other soft bodied insects, millibugs damage plants by feeding on a safe and other cell contains now the question is how can we identify mealybugs and how they look like mealybug have pinkish purple bodies but they often appears as a white or a gray color because they are covered themselves in a cotton like wax they vary in size and they are oval shaped bodies look like they have many legs around them but it is actually the part of their protective waxy coating the waxy coating may also develop many projections on the end of their bodies that give the illusions of tails or antenna the female millibugs lay hundreds of eggs in a tiny white cotton like sack so how can we prevent or control the millibugs as said earlier millibugs cover themselves in undigested sack or honeydew secretions this cottony coating protects them against the predators and other many products many insecticides but you can outsmart them so here's a few things by how you can control the infestations of the millibugs the first and foremost thing you need to do is take a good care of your plant it is very important to take good care of your plant try to wash them with water this is a mechanical method to remove the millibugs and second thing is that you can prune out the infected part or dab the insect by rubbing them with the alcohol always remember never ever over water or over fertilize your plant because mealybugs are more attract to the plants uh, with high nitrogen level break down their defense so how can we break down their defenses as said that cottony coating gives a good protection to them against the mealybug spray so you can also go for chemical insecticidal spray but i like treating them in more natural ways rather than the use of chemical spray we can also control these millibugs by the use of natural predator ladybird beetle they help in controlling the severe millibug infestation they are dark brown ladybugs with orange head whose preferred food source are the various life stages of the millibugs today i will be showing you guys preparation of insecticidal soap spray with neem leaves and a little bit of oil and some detergent take some neem leaves i'm only going to take few neem leaves then strip the leaves from the stem the next part is to chop up the neem leaves roughly i know it is a bit time consuming you can chop the neem leaves either in a processor or a blender or just roughly chop it into the chopping board but I'm gonna use my hand and roughly tear it into the small pieces. The next step is making of the neem tea. Brewing the neem leaf in the water. Take some water in the pan, roughly measured, and put the leaf in it. Let it boil for 20 to 30 minutes. After that, let the mixture cool down and leave it for overnight. Now remove the leaves from the water or filter the mixture through a nylon mesh sheath or use an old t-shirt or cloth don't throw away the leaves from the mixture you can use it in your compost heap or use it around your base of your plant next step is adding the detergent and oil in the mixture i'm going to add some oil and detergent in it and then shake it well so as to dissolve it properly and the mixture is now ready to be sprayed in the plant always remember we need to remove anything that may clog the sprayer and the reason why we are adding detergent and a soil in the solution is to make sure that the pesticide stick to the plant and doesn't just run off. So I'm using 10 ml of oil and same goes with the detergent shop. The role of the dish shop is to break down the oil and the role of the oil is to make it stick to the leaves. 
You can see that my king chili plant is so severely infected by the mealybugs. You can even see some ants in my plants. This is because the mealybugs secretes honeydew substance which is sweet in taste and because of this sweetness it attracts the ants towards them. Most important thing is that you should only be spraying this mixture only in the evening time not in the morning or afternoon because if you spray it in the afternoon then your plant might die because of the heat because of the sun scorching so it is always advisable to spray this solution only at the evening or when it's not too hot so as to avoid the injuries to the plant and also repeat this process for three or four times until you see the result it's always advisable to clean your pruning tools or the pruning knives before making any cuts so as to avoid the problem of infections like the prune out infected leaves stems fallen all infected leaves so as to stop the further spread lastly i will say that be persistent with mealybug treatment if mealybug come back reapply your treatment consistent application will beat them even if it takes a little bit time if not controlled mealybug can harm plants because they feed on the stems this could lead to the stunted growth wilting discoloration and even defoliation but now you have the knowledge and the tools to protect your plants from the white fuzzy bugs to control their infestations and save your plants from their torture so all the best and save your plants